Hi, welcome to the Gaming Archive. I'm Tom Norris and today we're looking at the Commodore 64 and we're going to show you how to connect it up to a reasonably modern TV. Uh, connecting up the Commodore can be a bit of a pain so uh, it's useful if uh, you know more than one way of doing it. So right now we're connected up to the TV and I'm going to show you. Uh, we've got Robocop on by the way just to show you that everything was working and Robocop is showing courtesy of a SCART socket. So I'm going to explain what that is and how we deal with it. So I'm going to remove and let you see. So the SCART socket is just a very simple little gadget. You can get it from Amazon for three or four pound. And this is the cable that generally comes with your Commodore. So it's a seven pin, uh, three, no, five pin, five pins here. And it's the old AV cable, uh, red, white, and yellow. So that's how the Commodore comes. So I'm gonna plug that in here to the video port. And there we go, that's it. And we're ready to connect to a TV. Now the problem is that most modern TVs don't have uh, the opposite of this or the equivalent of that. So in that case, what we, what we use is the SCART and well, option one is to use a SCART and plug that into our TV and should come up again. There you go, Robocop, still loading. And that's number one way of doing it. Now, if your TV doesn't have the SCART socket, uh, the next best way is to use a little gadget like, like this. So it's an AV adapter. Uh, basically, you're uh, plugging your cables here on one side and on the other end is HDMI. So it's an AV to HDMI adapter. So very simple, very straightforward. Again, plug in your cables. Uh, now this one needs a power supply. So uh, this, the adapter that is, needs a power supply. So you got when you get it, and again they cost about five pound on Amazon or eBay. When you get it, uh, you get it comes with a little cable. So you plug the little cable in, and. Incidentally, the little button down the side here, <coughs> it offers up 720 or 1080. So if it's, because um, sometimes it'll work without the power supply and you might get the 720. I always run the power supply and then I knock it up to 1080. In other words, I'm looking for better quality. And with the HDMI cable, you should be able to get better quality than traditional AV or even the SCART. So this would be the number one way of connecting up to a smart TV or to a modern TV. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it in using a HDMI. <clears throat> to do that I need to power up the uh, adapter. So adapter is powered up and I've got a HDMI cable here and I'm going to connect it in. So all I got to do now is to connect, is to switch on the TV, uh, change the switch on the TV because it's connected up to SCART. What I'm going to do is <coughs> change it down and change it to HDMI. I select HDMI, uh, HDMI is selected, Robocop comes up. So in other words, you can connect up with a SCART, you can connect up with a HDMI uh, directly using the AV adapter, which is one of these. Now, if for whatever reason you have a SCART socket and it's been used by something else, uh, you can always use a SCART to HDMI. So that is uh, SCART on one end, HDMI on the other. So that's actually three different ways of doing it. If you don't have any HDMI uh, ports left on your TV, you're connected up something else, this is 
um, a splitter, a HDMI splitter. In other words, you take one to the TV and you can take two on this end. That means you can actually take two uh, different feeds uh, and channel it into one to go into the back of the TV. In fact, if you're really ambitious and you've got loads of stuff connected up, this is actually uh, for connecting five different HDMI uh, cables um, into a TV, into a smart TV, into a modern TV. So there's no shortage of different ways of connecting up. So remember what I showed you. You've got, originally I showed you a SCART adapter, um, AV adapter to HDMI. Again, this is the SCART to HDMI. And I've shown you how to split your HDMI if you're running out of uh, ports, HDMI ports. So me, uh, as you can see, we've got Robocop lined up. There's no shortage of games here. And I've got my cassette, got my joystick, got loads of games. I think I'm going to play my Commodore for a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, hopefully uh, you guys now know how to connect up such a beautiful console. I know it's retro. I love the colouring, by the way. love the ageing. I wouldn't dream of removing it. It's because it, to me it's absolutely beautiful. My little girl, she said to me, she said, Dad, what, what are you doing with a wooden computer? Because she thought it was made of wood because of all the yellow. And <laughs> I just thought it was quite funny. But anyway, uh, now you, should, you have all the information. So if, as I say, if you can't connect up today, just order up SCART, HDMI adapter, order up from Amazon or eBay, have it the next day, about five pounds. No problem connecting up a Commodore to a smart or modern TV. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye for now.